Good morning, parents and children. Today, we're going to make a caterpillar. You're going to need an egg carton. Okay, and you're gonna take your egg carton and you're gonna cut off the lid and cut off this side piece here. And then you're gonna take your, your egg carton and you're gonna cut it in half. So you'll take your scissors and you'll just start cutting it in half until you get it all the way cut, all the way across. So you end up with two pieces like this. And these are gonna be your caterpillars, okay? So take one of them and have your kids color them or color them together <clears throat> with your kids. But you can, or you can paint them this one I made earlier, I colored with sparkly paint, but this one I'm going to color with markers. So just pick your favorite colors. My favorite color is purple. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna just color my egg carton all over. And because one color is never enough, I'm going to go on and use some red. And this can take a long time just to color it and get it brightly colored. And it's good to mix up the colors. This is a good time to talk about colors and what colors they're using. But I'm just going to color this. Just, I'm just going to use three colors for now. Then you're going to take your caterpillar and I'm going to take um, a pencil. You can also use a hole punch. Just depends on what you have. A pencil is just easier. And I'm going to poke two holes at the top here, if you can see. So I've got a hole on each side. And then I'm going to take a pipe cleaner like this and I'm going to fold it in half <clears throat> and one pipe cleaner will be enough for two caterpillars, maybe even four if you want to make your antennas smaller. I'm just going to make them bigger so you can see them. Okay, and then I'm going to take my caterpillar I just colored and I'm going to stick the pipe cleaner through the two holes and on to the other side. And this one, the hole didn't go far enough, so I'm going to make it bigger. So if you can't get it through, might be good to push it through with a pencil, which looks like what I'm going to have to do. And there you go. So your antennas come out. You can just leave them like that. You can curl them. And there you go, there's the antennas. And then I just take a marker and I just put in some eyes. If you have googly eyes, you can put on googly eyes and I just put on a smiley face. But there's your caterpillar. Then we're gonna make a butterfly. So for a butterfly, you're gonna need a coffee filter. Here's what I bought at the store. These were 99 cents for a hundred of them. So maybe you could share with some friends. So then you're just going to flatten out one of those um, coffee filters and then you're going to I lay mine on a paper plate 
and color it with markers, not crayons, not paint, markers. Okay. And then you're going, after you finish coloring, I've pre-colored this so it'd be quicker. You're going to take a water bottle. Okay. And you're going to spray your filter. Now what's fun about this is that the colors will run, they'll run into each other, and they'll make very, a very pretty, do it on a paper plate. I, I usually take paper towels and dry it and lay it on another paper plate until it's completely dry. And this is another one I've already done. It's already pre-dried and I just let it sit. Um, again, the colors, the colors will run. And if you hold it up, like I just did, you get the colors all over you. So you don't want to do that, but you just want to lay it and let it dry. Use a paper towel, dry it up and let it sit for a while. Then once it's done, you get this pretty colors have run. They're not as bright. They're more muted and they're kind of a, a nice color. And then you're going to take your your uh, coffee filter and you're going to crumple it up in the middle. So this is your butterfly and you're going to crumple it up in the middle. And then you're going to take a clothespin and you're going to put a clothespin in the middle. And that's your butterfly. And then I'm going to take that other half of that pipe cleaner or another pipe cleaner if you already use the other half. And again, it's half of a pipe cleaner. I cut it in half and then I just wrap it inside once around with each side of the clothespin. And then you end up with little antennas for your, your butterfly. And you can put a magnet on the back of this and hang it on your refrigerator. Again, if you want to, you can add a couple little eyes. But it's a, just a very simple craft to go along with the Hungry Caterpillar. If we, if you watched the first video, we read the Hungry Caterpillar and then we made a caterpillar and a butterfly. Have fun with that. Again, very simple, very easy to do. You can make it as complicated as you want. You can use paints. If you want to paint your caterpillar, um, that's fun. That, and that was what my other one was. This one was painted with sparkly paints. So it just depends on what you want to do. But have fun, make a caterpillar, read the book again, enjoy.